What's up, guys? I wanted to do another review, and this is the Horween Thin Line. Yeah, I am so excited to get this Bible. This Bible is so amazing. I mean, I've been waiting a long time for this Bible. It's absolutely stunning. It is just over overwhelming how beautiful it is. This one's new. It doesn't have a even have a scratch on it. Not that that bothers me at all, because I love wearing this stuff in. Okay, so don't let anyone tell you that the goat skin is better than the Horween. Please don't be fooled uh, by these by these people. You can make this thing look however you look, however you want. Um, yes, it will age over time with, I guess, the oils in your hands or how you hold it. But I'm telling you, from personal experience with the Omega, you can make this look however you want. So what I did with my Omega, because I wanted to try out um, making like streaks and making like this beautiful pattern of, of um, I don't know, like, it looks like natural scarring of the grain. I literally rolled this up. Now, am I going to do this? Yeah, I might let this one naturally age, but I would roll this up and it looked so cool. It looked like it was like used for like 15 years because... Uh, you can do whatever you want. If you want streaks on this spine right here, then you're going to open it like this and you're going to get those streaks on the spine. If you want it to look clean, then just, I don't know, protect it. Put it in the box it came with. I'm saying though, you can do whatever you want with this. And this liner and this Horween is so thick. It is so, so thick. This is going to be more durable. Every time you every time you open the box or you take this anywhere, like you'll be sitting in church. I promise you this. You'll be sitting in church and like there'll be a breeze and you will smell the Horween because it smells so good. And it only gets stronger as it wears in. I'm telling you, like if you're going to get a Bible, spend some money on this. And people are reselling these on Facebook. So get these while you can. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, the gilding is really nice on this one. It looks a lot sharper than on the Omega, a lot darker. Um, if you can see there, it's really nice. By the way, guys, always keep your ribbons like this if you if you don't care how they look because it won't scratch that gilding underneath. I always do that. Keep them a little bit raised or you'll start seeing white right there. Um, these ribbons are pretty, pretty garbage, um, but they are like double-sided satin, so... I mean, it is what it is. I don't care about ribbons, but if you do, then you might care about that. Uh, this has one, two, three, and four raised spine hubs that are just beautiful. It just looks like a like a candy bar. Does this not just look like a, like a piece of like chocolate? This thing is amazing. You got some perimeter stitching around it, which is just beautiful. Stunning. Stunning, I'm telling you. All right, so the liner. Liner's really nice. Some people have been saying that this is synthetic. This is not synthetic. Um, this is this is probably a calfskin, I believe. Um, and I'll tell you this. This is the only Bible that a month from now, this Bible will feel completely like 1,000% different. Like 1 million percent different than what it feels like right now. People sell these because they don't know how they turn out. These are literally the most beautiful Bibles. <laughs> um, so you guys know what a thin line is though. The This is like the most perfect... Um, the most perfect text block and font size and personal size carry. Like this Bible, I'll tell you this guys... The PSQ, the personal size Quintel, is the number one personal size carry before this came out. I am 100% convinced that this Bible is going to be better. It, it's just a tiny bit bigger. It's thinner. It has better quality in the, in the Horween. This is the perfect size personal carry Bible, and it beats the Skylar Quintel personal size quintal and if you have one or you know about them then you know how big of a deal it is that this bible tops that um but the text is just perfect 
I, I think it's like an, I don't know. I, I should look up this stuff before the video. It's probably like an 8 point, I don't know. Yeah, maybe like a 7.5, an 8, something like that. Just perfect. I mean, just great. Um, The corners aren't great, I'll tell you that. They're kind of whatever. I don't care about that. The perimeter stitching will keep them in there. But the corners aren't great. Uh, be aware of that. Uh, other than that, it's just a normal thin line. Just so, so nice. Let me give you a size comparison. So this is the NIV um, the NIV thin line, which is a pretty good Bible too. You can get these super cheap. Uh, but here's the here's the size comparison. Alright, so significantly shorter by the way this niv is literally the same size as the omega so this is like me comparing it to an L to the omega so essentially the text box are about the same because this horn is so thick oh guys i'm telling you there it is the perfect size smaller than the omega not the omega once again i know <laughs> i know this is not the omega but it's the same size as the omega so let's pretend we're comparing it to the goat skin omega text box is great the gilding's better so this is great guys uh if you can get these i i promise you purchase it because there will be a time when these will absolutely go crazy in price all right guys hope you have a great night